Should I sleep on my side or my back? That is a perfect question. And it can really tie into injuries that show up in our office every single day. In fact, I would say 30% of our injuries happen out of the blue, the person just woke up in pain. And a lot of that can be attributed to the way that we sleep. I already did a little video on why stomach sleeping is the absolute worst way to sleep. And so this video is ways to tweak side sleeping and back sleeping so that you get the most out of your night's sleep. So first off, we're gonna start with side sleeper. I am a side sleeper, so I think they're the best. Um, so for side sleepers, it's really important that you have a pillow which is supporting your neck the way it should. Now, when you're on your side, your neck should be at a 90 degree angle with your shoulder. Imagine this is the pillow. It shouldn't be so big that it kind of cocks you to the side, but it shouldn't be so small that you're falling over to the other side. So your neck should be totally in line with your spine. So have someone check out your sleeping position, make sure your pillow's not too big or too small. The other key thing for side sleepers is to put a small pillow in between your knees. This keeps your pelvis in a neutral position. That's really important. If you don't have a pillow between your knees, you'll notice your knees kind of knock into each other. They're not that comfortable if you're bony or they get a little hot. And so you end up kind of in more of a twisted position where one knee is a little bit higher up than the other. And that starts to twist the spine in the lower back a little bit too much. So go ahead, put a small pillow between your knees and that will keep your spine in neutral. Again, we want the low back, the mid back and the neck all in line with each other while you're sleeping so that you have the least amount of load as possible. And when you get up to work out or move around in your day, you're balanced and ready to take on load. Then let's transition to back sleepers. Lots of people believe that being a back sleeper uh, is the ultimate way to sleep and that it takes the least, or takes the, all of the stress out of the spine because you're lying on your back. It's a good way. Um, like I said, I think both low back or back sleepers and side sleepers um, are in a good position. Now to improve back sleeping, let's look at the pillow again. We don't want it to be so high that your head is kind of cocked forward. We also um, want to try to create a little bit of a curve in the neck. So um, sleeping without a pillow for many people is too much. So having a small pillow that holds their neck stable and creates a little bit of a curve in your neck is the ultimate goal. The other thing you can do to enhance back sleeping is to put a small pillow under your knees. So like I said before, side sleepers, you want it between your knees. Back sleepers, you're gonna put it under your knees to keep a small little bend in your knees. That takes some of the stress out of the lower back, which allows you to have a normal curve in your lumbar spine. So to recap, if you're a side sleeper, you wanna make sure your spine is in line with your body and that your pillow isn't too big or too small and you want a small pillow between your knees. And if you're a back sleeper, you wanna make sure your head's not cocked up too much or that you have a little bit of support in your neck if you have a predisposition to neck issues um, to keep that natural curve in the neck. And then you want a pillow underneath the knees. So if you apply those uh, tips, odds are you're not gonna wake up with these weird pains and aches that many people show up with. Um, and if you do, there's a good chance you need to replace your mattress. And we put out a video on how to choose a mattress as well, so check that out. Anyway, I hope that this helps you. Feel free to write any comments. Um, give us a thumbs up if it was useful and go ahead and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching the video and have a fantastic day. Thank you.